Good night, Randy. Good night, Dot. Now remember, tomorrow is exam day. Good night, Mom. Did you hear that? Who's there? Guess who? <coughs> it's time for your bedtime fairy tale. Look, lady, the last time we talked to you, we got in a lot of trouble. Oh, then you remember Juanito, the storytelling wand. Buenos dias. But we've heard all the fairy tales. No, oh, no, dear. Those were the watered-down versions. Whatever. Take her away, Wally! Once upon a time, deep in the heart of the enchanted forest, there lived a witch, a master of the culinary arts. For nearly a year, she toiled on her greatest work, the fabulous Ginger Cake House. This is sure to get me on the cover of this month's Witches, Homes, and Gardens. How proud she was of her masterwork, from her peppermint perimeter... Huh? Huh? ...and the chocolate chimney... Uh -huh. ...to the watermelon weather stripping. Mm -hmm. It was a beauty for all to see. Well, I guess it's time to go sugar the backyard. Soon, the witch was disturbed by a horrible crunching. Ah! Hey, you rats in Lederhosen, get out of my yard! <laughs> so the witch chased the inconsiderate children with her electric mixer. Their pitiful cries, however, echoed through the forest until they reached the ears of the kindly woodsman. What's this? There's danger afoot! Ho, no! oh, foul witch! You will harm these children no longer! What? Wait! You don't understand! Come along, children. I will show you to safety! No good do-gooders. You'd think that would be that, wouldn't you? But no, it was only the beginning. Just a minute. Yes? Hello, ma'am. Perhaps you are liking to buy some, uh, Kit Scout cookies today, yeah? Cookies? The roof could use some re-shingling. These cookies are made out of dirt! <laughs> you ill-mannered monkeys! That should hold you, you nasty, nasty children! <laughs> Let us out! Oh, we are sorry for to keep eating your house! But it is so moist and delicious! It seemed that at last the witch had things under control. However... <gasps> Why, that sounds of trouble! So the woodsman went to the witch's house and gave her a whack. Oh, no! And once again, he rescued the children. But the following day... Hello? <gasps> Lady, quick! There's been a terrible accident! What should I do? Uh, you go, um, um uh, stop the bleeding! <laughs> that night, when the witch returned... Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> Once again, the woodsman heard the scream and responded. This has got to stop. 
The next day, when the children returned to finish eating the house, they had themselves a little surprise. <gasps> Ach, what has happened to our beautiful house of candy and cakes? Indeed. All through the night, the witch had worked, changing her house of cake into a house of liver. A house filled with iron and nutrition? I think that I will be shaky. Quickly, honey! Let us go from this horrible place! Well, liver doesn't look as nice as candy and cookies, but at least I've got a roof over my head. <gasps> my stars! Is that liver? Oh, I love liver! And so the woodsman lived happily ever after. And that is how it really happened. So remember, children, always avoid lumberjacks. If the story even had a moral, it wasn't that. Oh, um, sweets then. Don't eat too many of them. <sighs> Maybe. All right then, until next time. <laughs> well, at least we can finally get some sleep. Rise and shine. Now, who's ready to ace a couple of math tests, huh? Oh. Hey, what happened to the window? Oh, yeah, cartoons! <laughs>